Hey folks, welcome to the Oma Plum YouTube channel where we give you tips and advice for creating a slow home that is good, clean, and fair. If you're at that stage in life where you're ready to upgrade your furniture in terms of quality and sustainability, then you need to know about artisan furniture. Stay tuned and watch this episode where we tell you everything you need to know. Today we're gonna to talk about artisan furniture what it is, the pros and cons of investing in high quality handmade furniture, and whether or not it's an eco-friendly option. We're also gonna tell you some of our favorite makers and hopefully inspire you when you're creating your slow home. I'm Meta Omat, co-founder of Omat Plum, architecture, interiors, and construction. And I'm here with interiors associate, Sarah Luke, and we design eco-friendly slow homes every day for our clients. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right now so you don't miss any of the videos we're going to put out. All right, now let's get right into the topic. First off, what is artisan furniture? These are the future heirlooms made by skilled craftspeople. They are durable, well-made, and often timeless. Why is artisan furniture eco-friendly? These pieces are the opposite of disposable furniture. They're meant to last generations, um, surpassing trends in fast fashion. These pieces come from small businesses who produce limited runs, often using sustainable materials and zero waste production methods. What are the pros of investing in artisan furniture? As we've mentioned, the overall quality of each piece is much higher than mass produced furniture. Each piece is handmade and therefore unique. You can typically work with craftspeople to customize a piece to your needs, whether you need a longer table or a different species of wood. And it goes without saying, supporting local artisans is always a good thing. What are the cons with artisan furniture? Well, these pieces can often be more expensive than mass-produced pieces. Um, they can also take longer to make. However, there are many pieces from places like Crate and Barrel that are just as expensive and take just as long to make. Okay, I'm just going to take a little pause here to tell you that this video is part of a mini-series on how to source eco-friendly furniture for your slow home. The first video in this series gave you an overview of the goals and strategies for finding eco-friendly furniture. You can find that video here and here. If you like this video on artisan furniture, you're going to love Sarah's visit to Field & Supply. The New York Maker Fair highlighting so many amazing craftspeople. Quick question, do you plan to upgrade your furniture in the near future or are you Ikea forever? If you plan on upgrading, put the word upgrade in the comments below. Sarah, what are some examples of artisan furniture makers that our viewers across the country can find? There's O&G Studio from Rhode Island, makes modern versions of classic New England furniture. They're also experimenting with bright colors and anthropomorphic shapes like this awesome Windsor chair with a snake back. This is Sawkill, a Hudson Valley studio that draws on history to create fresh new designs. I love their studio culture where they have a daily communal home cooked lunch. Heidi Martin, who's a Maine-based artisan, and she creates clean Scandinavian meat shaker pieces. Her workshop also offers shared space for other craftspeople in the area. We hope this video has inspired you with all of the amazing artisan furniture makers keeping craft alive and making pieces that will last for generations. Please subscribe to our channel and give this a thumbs up if you liked it, and please share with someone who you think might find it valuable. Here are a few more videos in this series that you might enjoy. We'll see you there.